my God, guys, I'm so excited. I just got a letter from the Department of the Treasury, the White House, Joe Biden. Greetings and welcome back to Here's What I Heard. I'm Laura Degatis, your hostess. Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. This week I'm going to read you this personalized letter that I got in the mail last week from none other than our Commander-in-Chief. Personalized letter. My fellow American. On March 11th, 2021, I signed into law the American Rescue Plan, a law that will help vaccinate America and deliver immediate economic relief to hundreds of millions of Americans, including you. That's great, but no hi, no how are you, no I'm fine, no the wife is fine. This isn't a very personalized letter after all. I'll read on. On March, oh, read that part. A key part of the American Rescue Plan is direct payments of $1,400 per person for most American households. With the $600 direct payment from December, this brings the total relief payment up to $2,000. This fulfills a promise I made to you and will help get Americans through this crisis. Wasn't the $600 that came in December, like, not under his watch? I don't remember him promising 1400 or combining it, but we won't quibble. I'm pleased to inform you that because of American Rescue Plan, a direct payment of $2,800 was issued to you by direct deposit. If you haven't received your payment within days of receiving this letter, Please check the status of the payment by visiting the IRS website or calling the IRS phone number listed at the bottom of this letter. Uh, my record said yes, I did get that. About a month before this letter was written, April 27th, and I literally didn't get it until May 17th. Or May 21st. May 21st. In fact, if, I'm, if memory serves, my husband brought it to my attention while I was making my last video. And that place, that part right there, the please to inform you part was all underlined, like it was really important. Literally made it also sound like as if they were getting ready to send me more. There may be other parts of the American Rescue Plan that will help you as well. For example, there is aid for small businesses, an expanded child tax credit for families, and resources to reopen your schools safely. The American Rescue Plan also extends unemployment insurance and helps reduce your health care premiums if you have a plan through the Affordable Hair Act. Hmm, so... Nobody else's premiums will be reduced, just the ACAs. To learn more about this law and how it will work for you, please visit wh.gov ARP. He goes on to say, when I took office, I promised the American people that help was on the way. The American Rescue Plan makes good on that promise. This bill was passed to provide emergency relief to millions of Americans. I want to be sure you receive all the benefits that you are entitled to. This has been a long, hard time for our nation, but I believe brighter days are ahead. We are on the path to vaccinating the nation. Our economy is on the mend, and our children will be back in school. Yeah, when? I truly believe there is nothing we can't do as a nation as long as we do it together. J.R. A. something J. President Joseph R. Biden Jr. Now, I was always taught as a child that if someone takes out the time to write you a letter and do a snail mail, as they call it now, 
that courtesy demands that you always write back. Even if it's just to let that person know who wrote to you that you received their letter or their mail and to thank them for the letter and their precious time. So here's my letter back to the White House. Dear Mr. Biden, I'm writing back to you to let you know that I got your very generous yet confusing letter today. I was always taught growing up about how important and special a physical letter is and that if someone took the time to write one to me that I should return the favor by at least writing a little note letting the author know that I received the letter and thanking them for the mail and their time. So first, let me say thank you for the money and the nice letter to let me know just how generous you have been with all of us in need after being locked down and unable to work for over a year. It sure did help me be able to pay some of my basic necessities for about two months. I'm not sure what to do about the rest of the time, but I sure was able to eat a little better and keep my house note paid for that short time. However, I was glad to hear that in the bills that were passed in order to appropriate these generous cash offerings, you were very generous on our behalf and made all kinds of charitable contributions to folks in need all over the globe. I even heard that we paid for foreign countries' military. I am so glad that that country will now be safer than our country. They really did deserve our emergency funds more than anyone here in the States did, including all the new residents arriving on your southern border. I can't speak for anyone else, but I, sh I am sure that they're very happy about our philanthropist actions, and I'm glad to have been a part of that benevolence. Charity is always a good thing. I've had people tell me that if I don't agree with you, sir, that I should refuse the money that you kindly and generously sent to citizens that you expect to survive, no matter how much of a cow-handed gesture is presented to them. Well, allow me to kindly remind you and anyone else who wants to know why I will receive any money that our representatives want to give me, mainly because the money in question actually belonged to me in the first place. I think other than obvious uses of taxes, like roads, schools, etc., taxes should actually be a rainy day fund for Americans, for times of emergencies and when hard times fall. I'm also very happy that you are at least aware of the many taxes imposed upon folks like me, because lately you've claimed that you're going to acquire even more revenue through a lot of higher taxes, but only on rich people like yourself. So I'm relieved that I'll never have to pay another dime. Up to this point in my life, I've paid so many and so much taxes that I could actually retire on all of that revenue when your guidelines advised me that I should. I just have one question though. As an entertainer, even with as little revenue as I've ever made doing so, why are my taxes higher than most all other professions? I do hope you can write me back and tell me about this one. Perhaps with your guidance, I could change my prof profession and become one of those sex workers I keep hearing about. Have you heard that some of the more popular ones on some of those apps makes millions of dollars? If I was making that kind of money, I'd be glad to pay a little bit more in taxes to help those less fortunate. I have actually heard somewhere that you're very much in favor of such professions. However, I'm sorry to say that if I did do that, I'd be a little too old for you. I also wanted to tell you how much I admire the fact that you chose a total underdog to have your back and be your running mate. I noticed that when absolutely no one wanted her to be anywhere near the Oval, you swooped in like the super duper hero that everyone portrays you to be and picked her for your VP. And what a job she's doing with the multifaceted jobs that you've assigned her to. I'm just astonished. Oh, and by the way, you shut down those nasty oil pipelines in American states that were just recovering from a virus that you so graciously cured with the snap of your fingers once you got in office. Those pipelines were so gross for our environment, and since you've been so generous with the stimmy checks, no one needs a job anymore anyway. I love, though, how you let Russians ruin their environments instead by allowing and endorsing their nasty pipelines. I just know that if anything bad happens and we have a war, 
we will have a pristine environment to defeat everyone else's guns, tanks, and other equipment that runs on petroleum-based products. I'm so glad you were able to thwart anything that Orange Man did, as he truly was a Russian agent, unlike yourself. He was against the actions of China too, but we can't have that. I mean, where would we get our cheap plastic and toxic pet foods from if we alienated China? Well, I know you're a busy man with all the great things you're doing for the world. I just know that many other countries will remember you fondly in their history books. Thank you once again for my money back. I really needed it to help offset my descent into poverty and possibly a tent under some overpass. But rest assured, I will never forget that you became the Duke of Limbs and the Vice Admiral of Narrow Seas to my beloved America. Oh yeah, don't forget to write back. Good Lord help us all. Sincerely, Laura DeGattis. Hey, do you guys think I should send that letter to him? Let me know in the comments. I do hope you enjoyed my video this week. If you'd like for me to continue my work, please make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, and share this video. A donation would be the ultimate, and I'm still sending out unique gifts for your donations. I'm also posting on other platforms due to the censorship that has been happening here. All my links are below. Click on some of them, will ya? Don't forget to click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my stuff. Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. Until next time.